Hey guys, I thought I'd do something a little different. Um, this is my first time recording my screen, so I don't know how this is going to go. Regardless, I was looking at Tear Maker and I saw all of these uh, couples, these ships from Naruto, and I thought, why don't I rate these? Because, um, so let me give a background here. I used to be a complete weave. Um, I used to, you know, do the whole nine yards of cosplay, dressing up, going to the convention, you know, all of that. So I thought, why not make my middle school self happy and rate these um, ships that we have here, these lovely ships? There's not a lot here. I don't want to make this a huge one hour video. I, I just want to, you know, mess around. I want to have fun here. So I... Um, have a lot of opinions on these ships. It's so funny. It just, it feels so weird talking about this. Honestly, like I would say 15 years later, something like that. Um, yeah, some 15 years later after me unironically reading fan fiction, drawing fan art, um, just looking up doujinshi of all of these pairings, and then now I'm going to be rating them. It's just, it's, isn't life incredible? It brought me to this moment here where I can look back on this retrospectively and kind of rate these pairings. And the fact that I still have opinions on this is kind of crazy. Now, I did re-watch re Naruto lately. Sorry, I don't want to make this long-winded. I did re-watch it lately, so I'm, I'm, kind of up to date on these pairings too so anyways let's get started so our first pairing is kakashi and guy sensei what a good pairing honestly it i know it's a little memey and it's not um there there is actually a lot of, quite a bit of doujinshi of them so um it's not like this is not a popular ship doesn't come out of left field they are best friends so I'm going to go ahead and give them the A tier. I'm not giving them S just because I feel like um, I have a better pairing in mind, even though it's my opinions are kind of mainstream here. I know, but I they're, they, they belong in A. All right. Gara and Naruto. Another iconic pairing. I really, really like this pairing. Um, first, we got this uh, excited uh, ball of sunshine, and then we have the contrast of the dark and moody emo kid. Such an iconic, um, just like contrast. There's a lot of pairings that have this contrast of a kind of like a Labrador retriever paired with like a black cat type of energy. I, I like it. I like it. And rewatching Naruto, honestly... Um, as for as much as we talk about this pairing over here, which I'll go into later, um, I honestly think this is top tier. I, I'm going to put that in S. That's S. Yes. All right. So let's go to Kakashi and Aruka. Actually, you know what? Let's just there. Um, I'm going to put this here because I feel like that's too soon after Kakashi and Guy. And we want to give the other characters another chance. All right. So <laughs> Kiva and Naruto. Um, Kiva's pretty cool. I really love his character, Dogs. Um, he, he's, I think he's underrated, I think, in my head. He's probably super popular. Uh, I like their pairing. It's very, this picture is cracking me up, by the way. Uh, who drew this? Uh, good job, you. Uh, I love this picture. Um, I, I like this pairing. It's, um, giving, again, the dog ex-cat energy but instead of it being the you know emo kid in the ball of sunshine it's like um i don't know it's like a f like two balls of energy but one is less so sunshine and um they have each other's back you know actually i kind of talked myself out of it now that i'm looking back on it they seem more like friends if anything um, I'm going to give this a C tier. I know. Um, I might come back to this one. I might put them in B, but for now, C sounds pretty good. They're not super, they're not like a shit couple, but they're, they're all right. I like them better as friends. Okay. Moving on to, um, Rock Lee and Gara, Dude, this is, this is another iconic pair. I feel like Rock Lee and Gara and 
Gara and Naruto are very just a popular. It it's like people love these like this contrasting like uh sunshine type main characters with these um kind of sundere emo type guys. So uh the relationship is kind of strained in Naruto at first um Gara having a you know sand coffined Rockley's leg off and <laughs> Rockley having to deal with it for like a lot of seasons actually. I you know, thinking back on it, when I was watching Naruto in middle school, I didn't really think that it was, um, you know, that many episodes that Rock Lee was out. But it's actually for a pretty sizable chunk of Naruto that uh, Gara um, kind of incapacitates Lee there. He almost kills him. If it wasn't for Gai Sensei running in to stop it, um, Gara probably would have killed um, Rock Lee. So, uh, I, I mean... So their friendship evolves later, I think. Um, maybe not friendship. Well, I don't really remember now. But I, I know that they do end up being amicable because Gara just ends up, instead of being this whole like serial killer guy that just wants to kill everyone, um, he kind of realizes that he's not the only kid that's had traumatic issues uh naruto's like hey you think you're the only one that had a shitty childhood like that guy i mean my parents died that guy's parents like all of his parents are dead all that shit like everyone in naruto has like a really sad story um so it's funny that gara comes to terms with he's like not the only one that had a shit childhood um that being said uh yeah you know my nostalgia glasses really want to give this an S tier, but I'm going to go ahead and give them an A tier. Uh, I still think uh, Naruto and Gara supremacy is uh, reign supreme, so we're going to stick them. This is still a really good tier. Okay, let's go to Naruto and Sakura. Um, I know a lot of people hate this pairing. I rewatching it. So, okay, middle school me would have said disgusting, totally F. But, um, current me, I mean, uh, oh, wait, can we zoom in? Yeah, there we go. So, current me thinks that, uh, after a rewatch, I think they're actually, they made a pretty good couple. Um, I just think that the, they had more of a friendship vibe going between them and, you know, Naruto having just being completely obsessed with Sasuke and Sakura being obsessed with Sasuke, I feel like they both had something in common. But, um, yeah, I think just Sasuke kind of got in between them. It's kind of funny. I feel like, I feel like Masashi Kishimoto really had a vision for them at the beginning, or maybe he didn't. Maybe he was just like, they're not going to be Endgame. But I feel like in those beginning episodes, it felt like a uh, kind of a thing where Sakura was just going to learn to admire Naruto and then maybe this would be a viable couple but then I think he was like no Sakura should go with Sasuke Naruto should go with uh, Hinata and I, I don't know I it's, that was so predictable I didn't like that but um prior to that I really like this couple I think it's a good couple, but I feel like they're more like a friendship kind again. But you know what? I'm going to put them in B tier. I like that. They're comfortably in B. All right. Naruto and Hinata. Uh, these, this is a really good couple. Uh, I know it's canon and um, I, a lot of people just don't like canon couples because they're so vanilla and whatever. And, uh, you know, they're straight head couple. I like them. I, I like them together. I think they make such a good team. And um, it's really weird rewatching it. Um, Naruto kind of ignores Hinata. Not, I, so in the beginning, he, he doesn't know that she has a crush on him. But later on, it's just so weird. Like, she sacrifices herself for Naruto. And he just kind of doesn't really acknowledge it. Um, I know people are going to say they were in the middle of a war. He kind of didn't have time to think about that. Um, but still, they had a downtime. I feel like he could have at least acknowledged it 
once. Um, but yeah, I mean, okay, I I'll give them that. They were in the middle of a war. They didn't have time for uh, dating, um, being normal teenagers. So I'll, I'll give them that. But I really, I really like this couple. At the end, they kind of, you know, the ending, they get married and it's cute. Actually, was that, was that an anime ending? I think that was an anime ending. Um, the manga, I think, just ends. Yeah, I don't remember. And they, okay. Anyways, they get married. So I like them. S tier. All right. Naruto and Sasuke. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, okay. So my middle school self would have, this is, this was my first, I think this was my first official, uh, <laughs> God, I don't even want to say it. Yaoi pairing. Ew, cringe. Yeah, this is my first uh, official Yaoi pairing. <laughs> um, I was like, wow, they were meant for each other. Uh, but upon a rewatch, uh, they really weren't meant for each other. I think that um, they do have a connection, kind of like a red string uh, connecting them. They definitely have their fates intertwined. Uh, Sasuke is a little shit. Naruto kind of just is completely obsessed with him. Uh, I don't know. I feel like... I I'm going to put them in A tier. I feel like that's kind of sacrilegious, though. This is such a popular couple, and I feel like it they could have been endgame. But honestly, if I'm thinking about comparing it with Gara and Naruto, I'm I wouldn't put them even in the same category. I do have to admit that now. So, um, current me puts them in A. Middle school me puts them in, like, triple S tier. All right. Let's go to Sakura and Hinata. Um, Sakura and Hinata. Uh, this is actually one of the first times I'm hearing about this couple. Uh, I've... Well, that's not true. I've definitely seen them paired together, but I, to me, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, unless Sakura wants to steal Naruto's girl, uh, I'm all for that. <laughs> um, especially in later, um, or I, I think Boruto, I think Naruto's a shitty father. So if Sakura could steal <laughs> Hinata away from that awful lifestyle of having to wait for a husband that'll never show up, I think... Sakura should be the one to do it, especially since she's also neglected herself. I mean, Sasuke kind of does his own thing, Naruto does his own thing, and that just makes it seem like they're meant for each other, Naruto and Sasuke, I mean, and I feel like this whole, like, wife swap thing kind of works. Um, if we're talking about, like, specifically the events in Boruto, which I'm not familiar with, I haven't seen it or read it, but I do know he's a shitty father and Sasuke isn't really there. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, uh, keeping that in mind, I'm going to put them in B tier. Um, they're not as bad as Kiba and Naruto, but they're not as good as uh, Kakashi and Gai Sensei. Okay, Ino and Sakura. Uh, Ino and Sakura are kind of the... So, when you're talking about popular couples, I would say... Naruto and Sasuke and Sakura and Ino are, like, the example of Yaoi and Yuri pairings back in the day. Um, if you were middle school watching Naruto, you know what I'm talking about. This, is, this was, like, that shit. What was that meme that was, like, um, all, all of his love, like, uh, Yaoi, Yuri, regular couple... It, all of it is valid or something like that. <laughs> this the, You would find these um, under Yuri, th these two. So I would say that I'm actually not a huge, huge fan of this couple. I think they would make better friends, if anything. Um, I do know that Ino um, kind of helped Sakura out of her being, having a low self-esteem uh, being obsessed with her big forehead and all of that and they were best friends i don't they just don't mesh well to me i don't i don't like them together they're i'm gonna put them in c i'm actually i might put them in f later i just feel like even kiba and naruto being together would make more sense than uh soccer and you know um not because they wouldn't be able to be together but just because they're they're way more friends than 
than they could ever be lovers. Okay. Sasuke and Hinata talk about a crack couple. This is a very strange couple. I, they're, have they even interacted other than the fact that Hinata was like, we need to kill him or not kill him, but just hunt him down. <laughs> um, I think Sasuke didn't even have Hinata on his radar. I feel like this is such a weird crack couple. I think the only way this could work, it's because they both have dark hair. They both have kind of a, um, easygoing personality they they would mesh together i think but i just saw Sas i just feel like sasuke doesn't give a shit about anyone or anything even till the end of naruto I, even so like his redemption arc i guess if you can call that it just felt like he was going through the motions uh i wouldn't say that this is a good crack couple i've definitely seen better crack couples um actually i'm gonna put this in f i that's yeah they belong there now we've got sasuke and ino uh i feel like this is no it's not a crack couple but um i don't know i feel like they wouldn't necessarily mesh together in the end i know Eno ended up being with sai kind of a walmart sasuke because she couldn't get the real thing <laughs> I'm sure they're very much a happy, mar a happily married couple, but uh, Sasuke and Ino, um, I don't know. I don't like the vibes. It's it's giving like neglectful boyfriend and doting girlfriend that kind of does everything she can to keep her husband at home, but he's out there like cheating on her or like just not even caring. I feel like he would like Donald Draper, Ino, so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put them in F tier, actually. Uh, yeah, that's such a gross couple. I don't like that. Sasuke and, uh, Karin. So, Karin and Sasuke. Um, I hate this couple. <laughs> Just because I hate Karin. And, um, Sasuke did not give a shit about Karin. Like, he was going to kill her, uh, when, what's, Donzo had Karin as a hostage, he was literally going to blast through her body. She was going to, um, he was going to use her kind of like as fodder. <laughs> like he, he just did not care about her. She was obsessed with him. I feel like she was just, I mean, she has a screw loose. She was kind of focusing on his chakra. I didn't like it. So, um, F, Iruka and Kakashi, S, no, Nothing else to say on that. Sakura and Sasuke. Um, I would put them... I don't know. I, I feel like it's such a predictable couple ending. And I know that other people have different opinions. But this is my video. So I'm going to give them a C tier. I honestly don't like them together. I don't think they should have gone together. Uh, Sakura spent way too much time invested in Sasuke. I feel like she fell victim to the sunk cost fallacy that she spent so much time obsessing over Sasuke that um, if she were to give up now, it would be a huge loss for her, but it really wouldn't. She could be, she could be better off with, I, where's the, there should be a picture of Sakura and Rock Lee as a couple here, but that would be an eight tier couple. But them, um, yeah, I'm going to see. Uh, Shikamaru and Naruto, I, I really like them, actually. Uh, during the tune-in exams, they were kind of inseparable. And I feel like uh, maybe not as powerful as Naruto and Gara. I feel like this is like the first example of, you know, if you belong in the S tier. But uh, I'm going to leave them at A, a tier. I, I like them. And finally, Sakura and Shikamaru. Um, yeah, I don't, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, F tier. F tier because uh, Shikamaru is too cool for Sakura and Sakura could not stand, would not be able to stand Shikamaru's laziness. 
And there's my tier list. Um, if you guys disagree, then let me know. If you guys agree, let me know. <laughs> um, I'm pretty happy with this list. And yeah, this was something new for me. Hopefully I can get better at making these. But yeah, you guys uh, let me know what you think about my ranking. And thank you for watching.